Insurance Company initially opened in the Manhattan Financial District as Nautilus Mutual Life in 1841, ten years after the main contract life coverage was allowed in the United States. 8. 9. Originally contracted in 1841, the organization additionally sold fire and marine protection. 10. The organization's most memorable president, James de Paster Ogden, was designated in 1845. 11. Nautilus changed its name to the New York Life Insurance Company in 1845 to focus on its life coverage business. In its initial years, 1846 to 1848, the organization, alongside other insurance agency of the period including Aetna and U.S. Life, protected the existences of slaves for their proprietors. In 1847, it represented 33% of New York Life's approaches. 8. The administrative board casted a ballot to end the offer of slave insurance contracts in 1848. 8. The organization additionally offered arrangements to warriors and regular people engaged with battling during the American Civil War and paid claims under the peace negotiation banner during that time. 12. 13. In the last part of the 1800s, organizations started recruiting female specialists. 14. New York Life kept on developing during the initial 100 years as the public populace and extra security market developed. 15. New York Life's development was driven to some degree by the presentation of a framework wherein organizations use specialists to track down new business. 15. In 1892, organization president John A. McCall presented a branch office framework, workplaces that filled in as contacts between New Yorkers and field specialists. 15. In 1894, the organization turned into the primary U.S.-based protection supplier to offer life coverage to ladies at similar expense as men. Social reformer Susan B. Anthony was one of the organization's most memorable female policyholders. 16. In 1896, New York Life turned into the main organization to safeguard people with handicaps or unsafe work. 16. 20th century The New York Life Building at 51 Madison Avenue in Manhattan planned by American modeler Cass Gilbert, opened in December 1928. 17. The organization moved to the 34-story high-rise in 1929. 15. Later that year, New York Life's resources made due. From securities exchange crashes, state guidelines and corporate speculation arrangements have driven New York Life to put resources into government securities and land rather than normal stock. 15. After World War II, New York life progressively broadened. It put resources into land improvement in the last part of the 1940s and sent off a home loan loaning program for veterans in 1946. 15. In 1957, New York life recruited one of the business most memorable dark specialists, Cirillo McSween. 8. 18. In the 1970s, New York life. 